First things first, what he told me was the girls are coming over. <laughs> I've got girls, and girls are coming over. We're having a party. Hi, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a guest on my channel. <laughs> All right, uh, today we're talking about how we met. I mean, how she fell in love with me. Mm -hmm. How he snatched me, basically. So yeah, uh, if you watched my previous video, my NYC video, you would see that what led to, technically what led to how I met him. So, but continuing from there, in case you've not seen that, basically I was serving and I was in a, should I say I was in a bad place? I was technically in a bad place and um, on on the 26th of October, yeah, on the 26th of October, his cousin hit me up. His cousin was my friend. And I was like, I have a low battery. Nepa has been Nepa has been playing with us. And we all had our phones dead. And I was like, I can't really go out. Or if I'm going out somewhere, it has to be somewhere I can chat with. And I was like, oh yeah, he has his cousin stays close to me. And I was like, okay, let's all go there to chat. So, me, my I don't know what my cousin told me. <laughs> okay, so me, my sister, and my roommates, um, we all like packed our charging booms or electronics, my phones, power banks, and everything, you know. We packed everything to go and look for where to charge. Not knowing his cousin told him another story. But Shasha, his cousin Shasha told us we're going somewhere to charge phone. So we dressed up casually now to go and charge phone. Funny enough, it was like it was like a stone throw from my house, literally in the same estate. We drove my dad's house. And when we got to the gate, he came out to open the gate and I was like, who is this? He was let me, I don't know how to explain. He was being so jebby. That's the word. I don't know if that's what, what is that? So a jeb boy should jebby, like he came where's, where's Porsche? Don't know. Which, which Porsche? He was opening the gates like he was trying to break. And I was like, who is this person? And I know I asked his cousin, like, is this your cousin? He said yes. And I looked at him. I was looking at him through the car as we we're driving in with his glasses and I was like, ah, what's he forming? I don't understand what kind of air forming is this one. But I like, walk aside, you know, as fast as I can charge my phone, let me charge my phone. We came down from the car came upstairs, entered his house and sat down and he was at one corner of the house there working while we're in the parlor just in a time Baba was just doing his work oh. <laughs> was doing his work it's not any work, please think about it like people come to visit you in your house well we came to visit visiting even though we're charging phone we came to your house at least like try and should I say mingle or associate with the people that came to your house he just packed one side and was working like we did not have something to do with our own time. But you said you were like charging your phone, anyway. yeah. But but we're all just we're all just like having a good time in the parlor. And he just stayed one corner. And I felt very I felt very uncomfortable because first of all, um, my sister was there because of me. My roommates, in a way, were there because of me because at the time I was the one talking to his cousin. So it felt like I brought everybody out, and then first thing we now came to come and charge phone. <laughs> at his place was now not trying to like interact with us. He felt like we were making him uncomfortable or I, I don't know. I just felt very somehow. So I felt the need to like speak to him. So I was like, hi, um, your name is Kevin, right? He said yes. And I was like, are we disturbing you? Are you okay? How far? He's like, I know nothing. I just want to give you your space. It's, was that what we said? Was that, uh, I don't think I said that. Was that what he said? I don't but think I said that. Yeah. I think it was like, it was... First is first, what he told me was the girls are coming over. <laughs> I've got girls, and girls are coming over. We're having a party. But there's this way, wait, wait. Okay, okay, okay. There's this one girl that I like you to meet. Like she's like legit, like legit. That's what he told me. Apparently, the girl that he wanted me to meet was her friend. <laughs> but like, well, I was like interested in her friend. And immediately, immediately I saw her, she was carrying herself so, so mature, I didn't know it was a scam, but, <laughs> but she was so mature, she was so very well put together, she was like in control of everybody, she was like making everybody comfortable, now I didn't know, 
actually at the time I didn't know that she was the one that my friend was close to. Sorry, my cousin was close to. So I didn't know who was the one I was supposed to meet at the time and the one I wasn't supposed to meet. But immediately I actually liked that because she was like, it felt like she was the leader of the pack. You know? Please don't mind what I'm saying. Like I, I said I was when I brought everybody. So I felt like it was my place to make everybody feel comfortable. Well that was attractive to me. I yeah. like that. I like that. Yeah. And then it felt like she was the one that kept the most about how everything was going on. So but in that moment, when I found out the person that I was supposed to meet, I went to sit in my corner to finish my work that I was doing before he came. Before he told me the girls were coming over. The girls were coming over. So I went to sit down and try to finish my work, but then she came over and she was being like the whole caring scam artist that she was. <laughs> and then I was like, cool, okay, I was gonna come out and hang out with you guys, and then that's when we started talking. Well, it wasn't really it wasn't really that I was caring that much about him. I didn't I feel like she was feeling the boy. No, I, I didn't like she was the boy. boy. No, I didn't care about she him was like that. The boy. He yes, he looked he, he didn't look terrible. Uh -huh. <laughs> he didn't look terrible, right? So, but I felt like my my, my sister was uncomfortable. Mary was uncomfortable at the time. She felt like, ah, I'll be disturbing him. He felt like everybody felt uncomfortable because the person we came to his house was just one corner. So it felt like we chased him out of his comfort zone. So I wanted to like bring him out of his shell in a way. And I walked up to him. I said hi. I was asking him why he was not trying to like mingle with us. And he was like, hey, he had some work to do. And I said, ask him questions. What do you do? He says he's a trader. I'm like, ah, what these ones that we say they are traders, they are doing yahoo yahoo. I swear that was the first thing I thought. So I was like, what was that? Can you yao yao? So in my head, I was like, okay, pay, let me pack, pack my things and be running from this human being. But after I spoke with him, he shot, came around to drop one or two talks, then started arguing with my sister. Then I realized he loves to argue. God of mercy. I don't know what we were talking about that day, but both of them were just going off arguing about something. I was like, oh my God. So he wasn't, he's not actually quiet. He's I just. Like to make conversations. <laughs> why did you make it the first time? So, what, why no, did you make I, I was I was trying to make sure you guys were comfortable and you guys, like, you guys feel, you guys filled up the environment. Um, You forget the part that there was also dudes. Yeah, okay. guys as well. It's not guys, one guy. Well, if you have my cousin to his friend. Yes, okay. His so cousin and his cousin's friend. I have to read the room, right? I don't know who my cousin's friend is interested in and I don't know who he remember it was meant to be a party right? so everybody was supposed to be like you know okay, if it was meant to be a party why were you now forming Luna? because it turned out not to be you guys were just like you came from like give to buy you were worried? <laughs> or something I don't know what was going on here everybody was like, you probably came to touch for I feel like <laughs> I feel like I didn't understand what was going on, so I wanted to take my time to like read the room, see what was going on first before I like try to reach out. And I already liked you, and it seemed like this one's a paired up. You are technically paired up, and I was just your younger sister that I was left. So I was just thinking, yeah, that's that. And that's it. When eventually I came out, I started just thinking, yeah, that until we transitioned to me and you talking, and then now that was. And at the time, I was actually dating somebody too. So and the, the way he said this thing, Sha, it's not Sha how it happened because because when he came and started talking to my sister, yeah, I saw them arguing because they both like to make themselves heard, their points. They like to get their points across. She's talking like she doesn't like to argue. <laughs> they like and to she get. <laughs> they like to start here. <laughs> not as much as him. Like I used to call him Amami here because he clearly knows everything. He knows. He shadows. Just to make conversation. He shadows everything. So him and my sister they were talking. I was like, okay, that's good in a way. He doesn't feel out of place anymore. So in a way, I was happy that he wasn't. He wasn't uncomfortable. Then I started feeling like a fool in my head. I was like, oh, so if I had not said anything to this human being, he would have just sat down there waiting for a scapegoat or was it like a bait for someone to come and talk to you. Then you now feel like oh god, boss, and now come and talk. You know what? That's how I, I, I just started no, getting. No. I started creating scenarios in my head, and I was just getting angry. <laughs> But Sha, like I said at the time, I was dating someone. It wasn't really, it wasn't going great at that time. I was borderline about to end the relationship. But um, so at some she point, the boy, oh my god, must not act like I wasn't involved in this. Eh, uh, yes, I, I, I 
technically i technically ended the relationship when we started getting to know each other so in a so way that was a motivation in a way he feeling the boy <laughs> feeling the feeling the boy can you allow me to talk so but in a way he was partly the reason why you know i ended that relationship that night we got talking somewhere i think did you sleep over here that night yeah yeah okay yes 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 yes, yes. we all slept over here that night and so middle of the night in the middle of the night we we were all trying just playing play music having a good time that night and in the middle of the night everybody has slept up we're still both of us were now still talking and he was forming mr intelligent just you know those people that used to all those all those guys that used to form smart like the business i know i'm not choosing myself as smart yeah, well that's how just, you come up well that's how you come up he's always that, like that's that's a you problem <laughs> he's always you know like he's he's one of those people that when they try, when they start getting serious his voice goes very very professional, very email like, you know, very oh my God. very accenty. He's he's his UK accent now comes out like Don't I don't have UK accent. <laughs> that is how, that's yeah, he has UK accent. He comes out when he's when he's for me when he's for me serious, when he's for me posh. So you know, um so <laughs> So, um, so you know, again, then in the middle of talking, we got to do that. We both finished from Fudo, and I think, I think where where I got more interested in listening to him talk because at that point, I kind of liked listening to him talk. And where I got where I got interested in listening to him talk was, um, he told me his name was Kevin, right? So in my head, I just Kevin, I mean, I didn't really think much of it, but when we got talking that night, I got to know his name is also Chima. I was like, oh, okay, Chima, where are you from? He said, Imo State. Um, then where's Chima name from? He said, his mom is from Imo State. I was like, oh, great. My mom is from Imo State. Uh, okay, so what part of Imo? Then he said, no, he's not actually from Imo State. He's from Edo State. I was like, uh-uh. I'm from Edo State too. My mom is from Imo State. Where in Edo State are you from? He said, it's Ishan. I'm Ishan. I'm like, okay. That's where I actually now got really, like, say, invested in the conversation. He, he basically convinced me to end that relationship. I will not like, well, like, I won't like. Even as a friend, I was trying to do some, do something good for you. Mm -hmm. At the time, we were friends, right? Yeah, we were friends. Yeah. So I wanted to do the right thing. The relationship wasn't working out. It wasn't going the right way for you. You weren't happy. You guys weren't communicating as much. It didn't seem like you were getting what you wanted out of the relationship. And I was like. So he was pushing me, he was pushing me out of relationship so that he can, so, so he can, he can, can shook his leg inside. That's not something real right here. And yeah, then mentioned that, that first night we met, we, he literally started talking about marriage. Yeah, because like, where I was in my life at the time, if I was going to do anything with anyone, it was going to be for marriage. I wasn't ready to, because of the way my relationship ended, the last one, I wasn't ready to do the dance with anybody, you know, like stay in a relationship for one year, two years, and we don't really know what we're doing. So I was like, up front, I want to get married. And if you're ready to go down that road, we could do this. And in, in my head, it kind of was, it was, it was a turn off, kind of. Yeah, well. it, it was, I, I felt really scared. I won't say, it wasn't like I was scared of marriage. I was like, this one that just met me and you're already going to marry what if i'm an evil spirit like what it wasn't it was it wasn't so much about you in that moment it wasn't so much about you but it was about me like but then i liked you so you kind of just fit into the story like I'm, if i'm going to date anybody it would be because i want to get married to the person like even if we don't know if we were compatible but that's what we'll be working towards in that moment like there's this point this is why i like to like tell people you have to be ready first even before you even meet the person you have to like be ready go go right. go <laughs> no just like this is what i said about when he gets serious we continue crazy <laughs> well the story is you have to you have to be ready right you have to be ready to be you have to make yourself ready to be the person that you want to be that will be what you consider to be a good husband or what you consider to be a good wife so if you're ready and then you can then present yourself to the person who you would like if they're also ready so that's that's where I was in my mind at the time. I was like, okay, I think I'm ready to do this. If I meet somebody, I can make we could try and work towards that goal. Now, if along the way we find out that we're not working out, it's still all good to end it. It's not like um, I'm saying I'm going to tie your legs no, in that moment. Just, it just felt awkward at the time. It felt it felt it felt uncomfortable. Trying to get this one checked out. 
But that was that's why when I told you it was a scam. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> she was all like she knew exactly what she wanted. Like the way she was coordinating everybody, it feels like this is a leader. I guarantee it. She is a leader. Right. So what? That, and then we now found out that uh, she's the most indecisive person we ever met. And uh, yes, about my my life and many outings, I'm very indecisive. Not about work. So did I do that thing? So it was quite easy to just be spending basically the whole of my time here <clears throat> with him. And at some point, I moved in. Yeah. Oh, so good. <laughs> My parents were going to skin me alive. It was his idea. He was like, <clears throat> if we're staying together, we can actually see. Like, let's, let's put context to this, right? Okay, put the context. Uh, her house is like two steps away. So, yeah, I mean, you could just work from my house where she was staying at the time. So he was like, okay, what are we doing working this distance every two days? We might as well be here. And she had like roommates at the time that she wasn't really happy with and she was having issues at the time. So I was like, just take your yourself away from negative environment and put yourself in the most positive environment there is uh, that in the sense you're the positive, right, right, right. You're the positive environment right, right. <laughs> so basically that's how we met and we have um, questions we'll be asking each other so the first question here says um what's my best physical feature Are we doing the appropriate answers or like, like answer it, answer it, it's not appropriate don't I don't have like a correct. best, best I don't have like the best But I'm calm Okay I like your eyes Okay I like your ass It's cool feature Right? <laughs> eyes and ass <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god Right Okay <clears throat> Best fiscal feature for me hmm. never really thought about it Okay, I like, I really do like his hands. Did I say hands or palm? Hand. I don't know. Hand. Like, there's a way he's. <clears throat> there's a way it is. Apart from the fact that when I put my hand like this, it feels small. But, like, there's a way it's, it feels on my face when he, like, puts his hand on my face. I don't know. It just. It feels like home. I don't know. But his hand and then his lips. See so when I said she was feeling the boy? Number two. Do you mm. ever get jealous if you see me talking to other attractive people? Hmm. But you know, you know the answer. Right? I know the answer, but I'm saying <clears throat> no. It's weird. He doesn't. I, I actually like it. It's, it's really weird for me. I don't. I don't. I don't have like a feeling per se. Like when I see him talking to ladies that are beautiful, in my head, I'm like, okay. Be I don't know if it feel if it's because when he's talking to them, I can see him turning to stare at me or turning to give me one weird funny face so it feels like he's still trying to make, see make me sure you're okay yes so i don't know i've never really had that jealous moment but with him it feels like he actually likes when people are talking to me like we're outside and guys are talking to me are chiking me and i'm like help me nigga and he just <laughs> walk on and just smiling I'm like, what are you doing come and save me so, but I guess that's a no for me. I don't I don't feel jealous and I guess that's a no from him too. When did you know you wanted to kiss me? Hmm. The very minute I saw the very first second I saw it. It was because like the whole interaction that, that day was like you were you were doing a lot, right? And you looked very very together. Like you're beautiful, first thing, you're naturally beautiful. And that day you had no makeup on, right? Yeah. So you were like completely you had unique features, everything was perfect. I was like, okay, I'm gonna tell that second. <laughs> usually, usually for me, ever since day one, if I meet someone I like, I always know the first meet I meet them. So yeah, for you, it was just it was right there. As you walked in, it was right there. Everything was complete. Okay, uh, the first time I went to kiss him, like I said, that first day we all slept in the same house, and when he was sleeping, he had this teddy bear, calm, peaceful look on his face, and I was like. Not very at peace, but like when he's awake, he's very troublesome. But I think that first uh -huh. day too. That first day. Next question: Have you ever thought about breaking up? Ah, okay. Let's answer in marriage. Have you ever thought about breaking up? Talked about it? Yes. Yes, but not in the sense that you would think about it if you want to do it. I've thought about. I, I'm the kind of person I used to think about possible, like end of the world scenarios type thing. 
So I thought about all the ways that this could go wrong. So I thought about it. I will have thought about it. I've thought about it a couple of times. When he gets on my nerves, I'm like, hi. I will just go back to my father's house. <laughs> but yes, I, I'll be lying if I say I haven't thought about it. But I've thought about it. But the basic decision to go on with it is where, no, I don't see myself ever doing that. Um, what's my most annoying habit? Mm. Oh, you're plenty. I don't know how to put this in. <laughs> oh my god. Why do you feel like you're happy about this question? <laughs> <laughs> Annoying habits. You have a way of caring a lot about things that don't matter and caring very little about things that matter. Hmm. It is, it is your, it's a kind of like half of it is a gift. Then half of it is like a problem. <laughs> but then the way you react when you when things that don't matter happen, those that reaction is the part that is the most annoying. It's like it doesn't matter. Just like the the tunnel thing yesterday. It was just like oh my god. Like he literally cut a new towel into two to use as footmat. How am I not supposed to be able like to you're reacting to like I burnt down the house? Like they are old towels you could have cut, not the new I, one. I wasn't thinking about it. If it was a small towel, like no, it, you would, we could replace that anytime. It is it small towel. It doesn't it was annoying. matter. Okay, his annoying trait is plenty. Where do I start from? Oh Jesus Christ! Where do I start from? Your snoring. <laughs> oh, no one. Like I want to just put peg on your nose in the night. Sometimes I'll just sit up and just be looking at him. You're snoring, I'm like... You know the funny thing about this? Okay. She doesn't think she snores. I don't snow. I have a record in it. It is YouTube, if not, I'm just like... <laughs> it's your YouTube page. If not, I'm just like, put that in there. <laughs> if I was the one that had me, I did this thing. Would I just put that one in there? Just put that in there. Well, he snores. And he doesn't like to drink water with cup. He will just use it there from the bottle. That one is the latest one that used to trigger me. Like I just want to hold his neck and like hold a cup, get a cup, get a cup. It's very very angry. There are plenty, but let me just do that. Next question. Huh. Do you watch porn? Of course. Even. Yeah. <laughs> um, do I watch porn? <laughs> oh my god. Yes I do. Yes I do. I'm not going to go into explaining, but yes I do. I don't really find it's it. Short it's, it's a struggle. Yes, it's a struggle for me to watch point. It's very disgusting to me. So yes, I don't really, I feel like I'm not seeing point, but it's disgusting to me. Have you ever faked that you liked something pertaining to me? Faked it? Yeah. I think so. I know I have. We can't. I think you, you faked a bunch of shit. But like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I can see when you're faking it. <laughs> I don't know how to hide my face. I expression like my face. My face always gives me, but yes, I faked a lot of things. Like to make you happy, to make you feel like it was okay. To just that's what we're not talking about sex. It's not about sex. It's not about sex. Yeah, but yeah, but I think especially when we're dating, there are a lot of things that I let just to make you feel comfortable. I didn't want to make you feel awkward. There was no put that. Because of yeah. like I said earlier, because of how we got into the relationship, how, where I was before you, that was one of the things I was paying the most attention to. Like I, I wanted to know the truth. The truth was very important to me. So I was like. I was poking holes and everything. So even when you were, I feel like, which is the reason why I used to ask you all the time then, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? So I, I want to like really know how you're feeling and really find out what your Get real, feedback. yeah, what your real emotions are for every little thing. Yeah. Um, last question. If you could do it all over again, would you still choose me? Sure. hundred percent. It's kind of an easy conversation. I've gone through it. This is not even a thing I haven't actually thought about. I've gone through all my other possible options that would have happened other than you <laughs> and i promise the conclusion that this is the best possible place i could be <laughs> but i as well as my brain can tell me oh, okay. this is the best possible place oh, i could okay. actually find myself <laughs> because i've put me and you all of our bad experiences all the experiences that caused us to fight and be uncomfortable with each other i put someone else in that place and i realized that now if we wouldn't have, I wouldn't have made it through with anybody else. 
It's the truth though, we're just trying to be honest. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I think I will still choose him, but I have to do it all over again. I will choose him. But I, if it's like a conscious, I have to do it again with the same experiences we have, but you can redo it. I think I'll do it again, but I would be better in the sense that I would, from the onset, I will now know how to like deal with some of the things you do that I, that felt like a shocker to me. So in a way, I would already have like a shocker to us. Anyway, so but yeah, I would still choose you. Like even on his worst days, I feel like he's still the best person for me. It can be very annoying, but yeah, I feel, I feel like he's I still think I'm the best in the world. You. Anyway, thank you so much for watching guys. If you have any more questions for us or questions you would like us to answer, please let me know in the comment section. And I love you so much. Let me say I love you so much. Let me say I love you so much. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you seen that all the time. I don't know why. But thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next one.